Hey, my name is Thomas Sandberg. I'm an animal naturopath and I deal with dogs and cats mostly. I'm a big um, believer in raw food diets and I think uh, if you want a healthy pet, healthy pet or pets, <laughs> you will, um, you will now after after I've gone through a couple of these understand why I'm so interested in raw food and also promote it and why I started a study in 2000 a 30 year study into raw feeding so I have about 6,000 dogs and then almost 1,000 cats participating in this study so the ones I'm going to feature here and, and show you because I can talk about raw feeding all day long and um, people you know the ones that are motivated and won't listen they listen the ones that is not that interested won't listen and you know it, it, I found out the most powerful way to show what raw food can do is to show actual cases so that's what I'm going to do I have hundreds and hundreds of them and uh, so I'm going to make a video series then where I kind of talk about a couple of dogs here and this can be very sort of just you know, there's not going to be any polished type of presentation because um, when I do something, I'm never doing anything perfect the first time. And then when I start editing and looking at it, it just never finish. Because then I will suddenly become a perfectionist. I want to fix everything I, the wrong things I say and all that, and I, and I never finish. And, and so that's why I never start. <laughs> so then this is just going to be raw. I'm not going to edit it when I'm done. I'm going to just send it to YouTube and uh, people can watch it and take it for what it is. So hopefully you will understand it. It's not going to, you know, that's pretty straightforward what I'm doing here. So so let's look at a couple of cases here. Here is, uh, let's open this one. Allergy scum. So obviously I had an allergy problem. Let me scroll up here. So these are dogs that participate in my study and when they enter into the study they give me a little story background story one one of the thing I ask for is if they if they switch to a raw food diet if they saw any difference after switching and uh, if they can share that with me because then that's I think that's very powerful so in this case this is Louis he's 12 years old he's a pointer and he's from the UK they started on a raw food diet seven years old so this is the owners you know writing this then louis is a, a reason i started raw he had uh, allergies from a pup all sorts of tests they tested him for these allergies i, I assume the wet put him on steroids which is extremely common uh, lost condition lost here on the ears started with a uh, started with a complete raw did uh, courses now do it yourself he has nearly, he's nearly 12 now no medication for years and now and no health issues so from 7 to 12 uh, he had all these issues at 7 and now 12 years and it's all gone I'm sure it, it ended much earlier than 12 years but 12 years of having no none of these issues shows that um, switching the diet was the right thing so what I do with these stories is I, I comment on them. So in this case, I, I comment uh, with uh, with this. Again, getting after drugs, feed the right food, and let nature take care of the rest works the best. Wow, that rhymes, actually. It can't get any simpler than that. So I'm asking why we're fighting nature when we will all learn. We are programmed to administer, uh, ad administer something when our pet's health is compromised. So when we see an issue with our pet, like an allergy, itching, so we are then, okay, we we'll go to the vet now. See how you can figure out what it is or she. And in most cases, they're gonna be put on steroids and uh, antibiotics, which in my opinion, it's not the long-term solution. It's a, there's a reason for these these allergies, and uh, in, from what I experienced over these last 20 years, it's all related to nutrition. 
in most cases so just switching the diet is uh, is the key and and uh, for me is is the start of everything so any issues with your dog you need to switch the, or look at the diet and this guy has the same digestive system of a wild dog or a wolf it's almost identical to wolves inside it doesn't you know look so wolfy here but inside and that digestive system expect one type of food and that's raw food I mean these are you know when they were back in the wild they were hunters they killed animals and they ate them and that's the type of food you want to mimic we don't need them to run out and hunt and kill their own food we can help them with that by you know providing that raw food and give it to them the key here is give a variety of raw food and then the digestive system get the nutrients they need to uh, to 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 boost the immune system and create balance and when that balance is established then the body can heal itself so that's what happened here you just fed the right food and the body healed itself with no really help from anyone else no drugs no medication no nothing and that's the way to do it because that's permanent so you're gonna when I'm going through all these all these other different cases you're gonna see this trend over and over and over again it just happens the same thing over and over okay so let's look at another one that's Louis let's look at uh, this one that is Shelly getting the cutest dogs honestly I just love it. this is this is why I'm doing what I'm doing I'll continue for 20 years people say oh my gosh you've done this for 20 years yeah I'm about halfway through it I'm going to at least do another 10 because I want lifetime studies I want everybody to live that their life that's when that interesting data comes out and that's nobody ever done that so these are raw fed dog been raw fed most of their lives many have switched them but they're staying on the raw food diet. Then they, then uh, I'm, I'm looking at the results and then compare it to statistics out there, which is sort of my control. So um, that's why, I mean, it sounds horrible when I'm waiting for all these dogs to die and cats. So I can, you know, build up or, or get the study more in in a form that I can publish. All right, enough about that. So this is Shelley, she's three years old, Italian Greyhound from South Africa. Interesting part, I get dogs from all over the world and what I've noticed over the last 20 years how raw feeding slowly spread, you know, to all parts of the globe and I love seeing that. It's, it, it's just one of my absolute greatest pleasure when, when I get some, some dogs outside UK and uh, United States and Canada those are the most common United States being the most and then uh, Canada UK are pretty even UK probably a bit a little bit more when I start getting dogs from South Africa and getting them from other places um, in Asia things like that I uh, just love it okay and in telling you from South Africa yes we already did that started on road for two years old recently uh, so this is the owner talking recently switched from um, home cooking mixed muscle offal and veggies so that wasn't the worst diet it didn't really come from kibble but i'm probably missing something in there to raw maybe they cooked oh cooking home cooking so probably cooked it all right so noticeable differences are in increased energy levels decreased general anxiety levels and decreased constant food scavenging and these are all quite common things in um, non raw fed dogs uh, people don't think that that uh, well I, I have a comment on it probably later so I'm not going to repeat myself let's go through the rest of this first so this owner worked at the, at the veterinary industry for 10 years advocating commercial premium pet food was however not keen to give it to my own dogs so this is my comment there's a crazy myth out there that raw food makes dogs aggressive I've seen that quite often it's, it's absolutely the total opposite oh, I am saying that yeah. I see the total opposite they seem to find a mental balance even energy is different it is more even in a sense I don't see those crazy bursts of energy after meals and um, that you often see in kibble fed dogs. 
scroll up a little bit. After being uh, loaded up with carbs and sugars. It's just kind of like kids, yeah, when they, when they get carbs and sugar, they go all crazy. And dogs kind of do the same. They have this burst of, tall burst of energy right after their kibble dies. You don't see that much in raw dogs. Some, some raw dogs do that because they're so happy being full. But in most cases, uh, it's much, much more even during the day. And uh, it's, it's sort of, it's, it has more energy, but it's not that crazy energy. It, um, it It's definitely a difference. And I you know, hear that has been reported to me over and over again. And I see it in my own dogs. It's very calm, very balanced. Yes, they're playful, but you kind of have to initiate something for them to be playful. They don't go, in, you know, bunkers by themselves. So that's interesting for for some people that um, have dogs that have been in that condition and come over to from cable to raw. They 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 definitely like that part of it. So that's Shelly. Let's just do one more because I'm in. I'm like eleven minutes. I'm gonna do one more. So I do three at a time. All right, so look at this. This one I feature quite a bit around because it's kind of an interesting case. So this is, um, well, they made a comment first that they thought they were going to lose him to chronic, col chronic colitis. And that's serious, that, dogs die from that. So let's see what happened here. Hugo is a Hungarian Vizsla from the UK. Started on a row died three years old. So he, prolonged kibble for for a few years okay Hugo suffered from uh, chronic colitis he was very ill for two to three months and I thought I was going to lose him it's the most horrible feeling oh my gosh he was going downhill rapidly I switched to raw in a desperate attempt to help him and within 24 hours he had stopped vomiting and diarrhea disappeared which had the main Indication of result from uh, colitis. This is hor It's a horrible thing. Absolutely horrible to deal with. You feel so helpless. But look at this. Within 24 hours, that's all gone. And I see this all the time. People don't believe it. If I told this story and you know to some random person and think, okay, that sounds amazing, and it's hard to believe. But this is an actual real story. So. After those, so let's see what's he writing here. So far, he has had no further episodes and remains fit, healthy and well. His coat is gleaming and he no longer suffers from smelly, itchy ears, which is another very common thing on in kibble fed dogs. So this is my comment. Love this. Of course I love this. This is you know, one of the reasons I you know, love what I do. Because I see this all the time. It's, a, it's absolutely wonderful. This dog was saved by food, not medication or drugs. Think about how powerful and simple that is. That is nature at work. I will never stop fighting for this. Because I see it, like I'm, I keep repeating myself, I know that, but over and over again I see this. It almost never fails. If you have any type of health issue with your dog, if you switch the diet to raw, you, um, you, you're going to see results. I, I, don't think I've ever seen a dog not improving on a raw food diet. It, it can take different, you know, shapes of improve. Like it take longer for some, and some improve much faster. But the end result that one will, the will improve, and and most in most most cases fully recover. And the best of all, it done without drugs and medication, no side effects, no nothing. It builds up a strong immune system that allows the body to heal itself. And it is permanent. It doesn't, as long as you stay on the diet, it will not reverse back to any of these conditions. So, I love this. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. It is so true. It is freaking awesome. All right, so that was three dogs. I'll be back with more.